Fort Worth, and I'm the project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. The presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the project scope, improvements, and to seek community input during the development of the project. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I would be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of improvements on each street associated with this project, and discussing the expected schedule moving forward. Then we'll open up for any questions or comments regarding the project. First, we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvements associated with this project. The scope of the project includes 13 streets listed here. They are <coughs> West Boyce Avenue from McCart Avenue to East Dead End, Cherokee Trail from West Seminary Drive to West Gambrel Street, Gordon Avenue from West Spurgeon Street to South Dead End, Martin Laydon Avenue from James Avenue to Townsend Drive. Rector Avenue from West Seminary Drive to West Gambrel Street. Yates Avenue from James Avenue to West Dead End. Westside Avenue from West Boys Avenue to Gambrel Street. Cockrell Avenue from Seminary Drive to Morel Street. Seminary Drive from Rector Avenue to West of Rector Avenue. Spurgeon Street from Fraser Avenue to Stanley Avenue. Stanley Avenue from Martin Lydon Avenue to South Dead End. Townsend Drive from South Crest Drive to Yates Street. Fraser Avenue from Spurgeon Street to East of Boys. In the next couple of slides, I will show you the existing condition of this street and give a breakdown of the proposed improvement. Here are the representative photos of the existing condition of the street. To the left, you see the intersection at Townsend and the H Street showing that damage asphalt pavement, curb and gutter. To the right is intersection at Townsend and Martin Lydon. Here you can see damaged asphalt paving, but no curb and gutter. The photo here uh, show a damaged driveway and sidewalk, as well as damaged curb and gutter on Rector Avenue. Similar conditions are present in other streets as well. Here you can see deteriorated asphalt pavement on Townsend Drive near Seminary Hills Elementary School. The streets in this list are divided into two groups based on the funding source for improvements. Street number one to six are 2022 bond funded streets. And for a typical bond funded streets, in addition to water and sewer improvements, the pavement improvements include new pavement with concrete curbs, we will also be replacing your concrete driveways with a minimum 11 feet width or match the existing. S sidewalks on both sides of the street will also be constructed. The improvements on street number 7 to 13 are funded by water department. And for a typical water department funded streets, the improve improvement includes water and sewer improvements. New asphalt pavement, however, uh, driveways, curbs, and sidewalks are generally not replaced unless they are in bad or very damaged during construction. West Boys Avenue from McCart Avenue to East Dead End is a bond funded street and will have the improvements as shown. The water and sewer improvements include upgrading existing 2-inch water line to 8-inch, 
upgrading existing six inch sewer line to eight inch. The paving improvements include new pavement with concrete curves. We'll also be replacing your concrete driveways with 11 foot width and or match existing. New sidewalks on both sides of the street would be constructed. The next few slides, street number through one to six, so the 2022 bond funded streets improvement. The proposed improvement among these bond funded streets are similar. Thus, I will pause on each slide and let you read. We can revisit uh, to discuss this later if needed. Cherokee Trial from West Seminary to West Gambrel Street is a bond funded street and had the following improvements. Gordon Avenue from West Spurgeon Street to South Dead End is a bond funded street and had the following improvement. Martin Lidon from Townsend Drive to James Avenue, a bond funded street. The improvements are shown. Rector Avenue from West Seminary to West Gambrelli Street. Yates Avenue from West Dead End to James Avenue. The water and sewer improvements for this street include replacing the existing 12 inch water line and existing 15 inch sewer line. The paving improvements are typical for a bond street and include new paving with concrete curbs, new driveways and sidewalks on both sides of the street. Now I'll go through the street improvements funded by water department. Wayside Avenue from West Boys to Gambrel Street. This is within the scope of water department and the proposed improvement include water and sewer improvement that has that upgrades existing six inch water to eight inch water line. The paving in improvement includes new asphalt pavement. We will not replace guard, guard, gutters, driveways and sidewalks unless they are in bad shape or damaged during construction. The next couple of slides show the water department funded streets. The proposed improvements for water department funded streets are similar to each other. So I'll pause briefly on each slide and let you read. We can revisit the particular street to discuss this later if needed. Cockerell Drive from Seminary to Morel Street. West Seminary Drive, approximately 300 feet of sewer section on West Seminary Drive would be upgraded and new asphalt pavement will also be constructed. Spurgeon Street from Frazier to Gambriel Street. The proposed improvements for Stanley Avenue from Martin Lidon to Yates Street is on. Townsend Drive from Southcrest Drive to Yates Street. Frazier Avenue from Spurgeon Street to East of Boys. The water and sewer improvements include upgrading existing six inch water to eight inch, and it, the paving improvement includes new asphalt pavement.
So this is the typical example of what a newly constructed street looks like with new pavement and concrete curb and gutter. To the right, you can see new concrete driveway. Additionally, we have pictures to give everyone a vision of what a new sidewalk and pedestrian ramps crossing would look like. We'll be moving on to project schedule and upcoming milestone. There are many milestones in this project, in particular, the anticipated construction date is January 2025, and the construction is anticipated to complete in May of 2026. I want to mention you that we will also be having a pre-construction public meeting to give detailed information before construction starts and what to expect. Similar to this meeting, you will receive mailer cards with assigned date for the pre-construction meeting. If you would like to stay updated on this project, please go to the first link. Alternatively, you can also go to the official Fort Worth website and enter project number 104150. The project map, the project summary, and other updates will be linked to this project page. If you want to know more about the 2022 bond, then you can access this by going to the link provided. We'll go ahead and open up for meeting, open up this meeting for questions or comments. It looks like there are no more questions. If you have questions, then please contact. Feel free to reach out to uh, any of us by phone or email. I'll leave this slide open for a little while so that you can have chance to copy the information. Thank you, everyone. I'll be closing up this meeting. Thank you.